Okay guys, first dressing has been made. Also, a quick tip, always grab fertilizer because when you want to start your little uh, farm or whatever, in your planters, you're gonna fertilizer is extremely useful. Ooh, spilling ammo. To actually like kind of kickstart that, and it'll be able to provide you with some uh, with a reliable food source. So definitely make sure you get fertilizer. As you can see here, there is the um, oil rig out there. It's not fully loaded because I'm kind of a little bit f far away, but that place is a dead zone, very deadly, but has insane loot. Uh, personally, I have never been there, not even as an admin. I kind of want to keep it a surprise until I g actually gear up enough to get there but yeah so that place is definitely uh you want to stay away from it okay guys so i was just on route to my first town which would be novobersk i'm i'm really sorry i know i hate it when people mispronounce things but i'm just gonna say it like that and i have three full civilian ammo boxes and so i'd rather prefer to go to this campground and look for a schofield or a hawkhound or something like that than go to my first town so because i need something to protect myself this pitchfork doesn't do a whole lot, so I gotta find a civilian weapon here. Okay guys, big moment here, we got the sport shot. I'm just walking around, so this is it's actually a really high loot tent, three items. Sport shot I know is a, whoa, that just disappeared. You saw, you guys saw that? that what? Oh, well, I wasn't gonna use it anyways. Um, sport shot I know is a very low tier weapon. Not very good, but it will do for now. It will definitely do, because I have what, 120, whatever, rounds, plus the 10 in the sport shot. I think I'm able to do some damage to zombies and or inflict a little bit of play pain on some players. So let's see what we can do. So after a successful looting session at, which I believe is Camp Kazan, I have accumulated quite a bit of loot. I'll look at my inventory right after I kill the zombie. As you can see here, oh, I need this. I don't even know why I have those arrows. A ton of ammo, three dressings, binoculars, uh, some farming supplies slash food in case I want to start a base and also a bedroll and an axe in case I want to chop down trees and a weapon Like with like I said a ton of ammunition. So I think after I don't even know how long I've been recording for not very long I have s some stuff to start with and am not just a wandering aimless noob that's asking team please so Our next stop on our road to loot is Yavesk I, no, I'm gonna say anything. Okay, Yavis. This has a police station, which is pretty much all I care about. I will stop at a few of the houses. Ooh, I see an ace. Nice. I will stop at a few of the houses looking for a vest. Ooh, okay. There we go. And a backpack. I need a backpack also. Now, because I have this ace, I do have a ton of ammo for it. Like, four, three boxes, which is... I'm really happy I grabbed those, because an ace is one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Is surprising and most people won't expect it but I believe it has more firepower than the Eagle Fire in a single shot like if you take a headshot with an ace it'll do more damage than a headshot with the Eagle Fire don't quote me on it I heard that from someone but it's a powerful weapon so definitely good to have that I'm gonna save it for different or I'll have to see what I'm gonna do here because it would be a hassle to take it out instead of my axe and try to store my sport shot but if I get a backpack I think I'd be able to use the ace full time and just kind of keep my sport shot handy because I can make a makeshift scope pretty soon here and oh wow that's a lot of ammo i can make a makeshift scope here pretty soon and i feel that would be a viable option because those things are pretty nice i like wearing police cap i think it looks cooler so all right also my service on easy so everything spawns f with full durability and or um capacity so i'm sorry if you guys screw with that but i really like it i appreciate getting <laughs> look at all these boxes oh my gosh it's crazy and I think I'm setting dressings with uh, whatever three. I think I should be fine. So let's keep moving. Now we're headed to the big grand papa daddy, Moscow. Okay, now we're at Moscow, which is, of course, uh, the biggest city on the map. We went from. I totally forget. One of these to Camp Zet, Kazan, to Yavisk, to Moscow. So, the main reason why anyone would want to come to Moscow is for PvP action, the police station slash loot, or a vehicle. I'm here for uh, police station's loot and vehicle, because I, if I could get a car, that'd be awesome, so I can make my way up to certain locations, which I would like to in the map. This ammo's getting out of hand, and I'm not even going to take it. Three boxes? Jeez. These don't have some stuff in them. I mean... Uh, I don't know. I'll leave him. I can always come back for him. 
Also, always check the fire station because it does have a chance to spawn gas mask or filters, and that's how you get to Silo 22 and uh, the oil rig out in the ocean like I was talking about before, or bay. So definitely grab that, or check it, because that'd be a waste to not. That's also a kind of reason I fortified Firewatch base. Most people were saying there's not a whole lot of good loot there, but a ga like gas mask is a huge part of the game to um, go to the higher tier loot locations, so you might need one if you're going to try to do that. Normally you'd be getting a little bit more of some PvP action, but I am playing with two other people on my server right now because it is very late and I have not told many people about my server so it's pretty quiet. I also wanted to say these are pretty cool statues. I like them. I think they're pretty neato. Wish there was loot in here but there isn't so yeah. Looks like we have stumbled upon our very first military loot location. You can see because green tent and military zombies. Ooh, military knife. I am actually just going to keep them in for now because I might need this axe for building a base. So I'm going to hold on to it. Let's kill these bros. Uh, what pants do I have? Yeah, farmer pants. Yeah, these are definitely better. By the way, a lot of police stuff... Oh, dang. thought that'd be more. A lot of police stuff has more capacity than military stuff. By the so definitely look into it before you just switch your pants. Ooh, whoa. This server was up to... I don't even think that door goes anywhere, but this server was up, to, like, started today. I don't know, someone already got a metal door. Boys. Ah, oh, Yuri. Still good. Not awful. Thought it was going to be a bulldog, but that's alright. Let's just, uh, this is empty. Mmm. Mm. I'm very un- let's eat some of this stuff. A backpack would be very nice right now. Move this there, and we should be able to hold the Yuri. There we go. Now we don't have any ammo for it besides what's already in it, so I'm going to reserve it for some PvP action or a mega zombie. We are stumbling across a second police station and a gun store, so let's definitely check this stuff out. I thought there were th three police stations in Moscow. I may be mistaken. I don't know. I'll have to see. This map is still relatively new, so I'll check on the map. Oh, paintball gun. Do not need it. It's useless. Um, no way that's going to tell me. Maybe a GPS, but a chart won't. Alright, we got something. And yeah, that's a Colt. Nope. What is that? Uh, Schofield. I don't have Schofield. Colt. Nothing good there. Clothing store. This is also a good place to check. And we got a backpack! Yay! Civilian vest. I am already uh, wearing a civilian vest, so I don't need it. Funny enough, these ponchos actually have more capacity than a civilian vest, but a civilian vest provides better protection. I'm going with the more capacity, even if it's only four slots, because I am not going to be getting into much PvP action today. This is also a really cool monument. I just kind of like how Nelson added that. I think it looks sweet. Okay. A little Easter egg, if you guys haven't noticed, which is, uh, it's an Easter egg for a reason, because not many people know about it, is that... If you chop this down, as you can see here, I'll just let you guys watch. A few swings at it. It turns into a Canadian flag when it falls down. If you know us before, it's a Russian flag. I think it, I don't believe it's a glitch. I just believe it's probably saying that the Russian flag will never fall or something like that. I don't know. I don't want to get into it. Nothing's but Ooh, look at the Chris Crack standing on his head. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. That's neat. That's neat. It's very neat. Also, I need to get a mouse pad. I'm sorry, you guys are hassling me about it. I need to like run up to Walmart for like a five dollar mouse pad because, trust me, I don't, I don't. Um, the sound my mouse makes is annoying too, but I just keep forgetting about it. So, gotta get the best quality for you guys, which also means probably a quieter mouse also because this one clicks loudly. Ooh, we got some vehicles. This looks like it is a natural location right inside of the lines. Come on. And someone used it all. But they left it in a neat spot. Let's zoom back out. We are going to... Hmm. Alright, I have an idea of what we're going to do next. So let's just check this uh, fire truck. And then see what we're going to do from there. Locked. Okay, so. 
We are right here in Moscow, right here. We're gonna follow the train tracks all the way up over the bridge, all the way to Zavid. And then at Zavid, there's normally some good loot there. We're gonna head to the big Volk military base. So we better get going before it gets dark because the sun is setting and I do not feel like fighting in the dark. I do have a flashlight, which I'm happy I picked up, but it's gonna be hard to hold a flashlight in one hand and a gun in the other, so. I believe we see St. Petersburg in the distance. Very nice town with a very large sewer system, which has a lot of cool loot. And I will might go into that in another video, but as you can see, police stations are king. I'm not kidding you. They are very important. So is fire station. So this little block right there, very important. But also up here, we see Zavid, the tank factory, as some people call it. And... It looks like we're gonna make it before sunset, but we'll have to see about Volk military base. We have arrived at Zevid. Gonna kill some of these zombies and see what's up. This train is actually a military spawn train. One time I was playing with a friend and he found a detonator on here, so it is definitely some good loot. A lot of it is construction, sadly, but see how there's some military boxes. Ooh, bipod. Look at that. What did I say? Boom. I don't care if it's a sports shot. I love it. Military knife, um, nothing in there. What's on top of that? Oh, just nails. I don't need nails. No scrap. No, I'll pass. Let's see. Shovel. Looks like it's not being very kind to me today. Yeah, nothing good. Oh well, let's still check. This place still has a lot of good loot, so let's look through it. Ooh, no sheet. Haven't seen that drop in quite a while. These zombies are kind of just annoying. They're not hard or anything. Between the three zombies that um, Nelson added that are unique, I believe it's the acid zombie or the spare zombie, the flanker, and the flame zombie. To be honest, I hate the flanker the most because with a, um, with a fire zombie, you can just, like range weapon it's not the worst thing in the world with a flank zombie you literally can't hit it with a melee weapon i i try oh wow i try turning around everything it's like very hard to hit and i just get so annoyed at it. so i hate flanker zombies just because they just go right to the side of you they just go like right there it's just kind of irritating so just wanted to share my opinion on that it's a pretty cool tank factory though i like it now that i got a backpack i can start grabbing some more utekolovka mag. I don't believe I need that quite yet. Backpacks are also very nice to have. Is that a jeep? That's a jeep. Oh, looks like someone locked it, but let's go check it out just in case. Alright. Um. Sometimes there's loot in here. Not really, though. No. On top. Bulldog. We'll hold that just in case. We do have quite a bit of space right now, so. Locked. What is this orange thing? Oh, it's explosives, raw explosives. That's amazing. I'm definitely going to hold on to that. Raw explosives are so essential for raiding bases and such. So definitely grab onto those. I say definitely a lot. I'm kind of, I'm sorry. It's just kind of a common. I need to get some synonyms for it. Comment below. Synonyms for definitely. Also, definitely. Or, see, I... I swear I didn't do that on purpose. Uh, I'll leave the server IP name. Oh, dang, this actual tank. Okay. Jeez. Thought it was like a monument thing. You guys probably thought, whoa, okay, wow. Well, um, let's see if there's a missile in it. Dang it, I was gonna fire for fun. Um, check out my server, sir, uh, IP and port will be in the description below. It's up 24-7, it's, I'm on there quite a bit, it's my most played server now because I got one, so hop on with me, I'll play with you, I'll invite you to my group or whatever if you play, work on an epic base, whatever, just come play with me, it's fun, I like playing with you guys. It's, ooh, take, another Teklovka mag. Kinda changed my mind about the Teklovka, with these other four guns coming out, kinda wanna make a, ooh, Bulldog, that's why I grabbed the magazine. Perfect. Let's finish looting up here and see where we're at. Alright, so it looks like that's it. 
I'm going to call an episode there, guys. I believe I've been recording for quite a while, and this is quite a bit of footage just for just to how to get how to get gear. So I believe that will be all. If you guys want more of these kind of videos, I can leave this character and expand from here how to get some more advanced gear, and I can head up definitely head up to Volk Military Base and try to find a gas mask so I can go to Solid 22 and other various Dead Zone locations. So leave a comment down below how you feel about this. Leave Drop a like if you like it. I love, you guys, I like never ask for likes, you guys always just drop a ton of likes, so I just, I'm not going to say anything, just, you, I appreciate you guys for that, so, hope you enjoy, there will be no outro this time, I'm kind of on the edge about it, and I also just got Adobe After Effects, so I'm going to be working on some new stuff, so, stay tuned, see you guys next time.